Hola, mi amigos, como esta? Happy single de Mayo. Welcome to episode 26 of Clarence in His House Forever. I'm your host, mi amigo, Clarence Pryor. Well, here's the thing. When I was in IS-2486 Spanish class, because I don't know how I did it, but I managed to pull through it. Uh, so, earlier, um, uh, I have a teacher named Miss Nationales, and she helped me out through um, giving me uh, a Spanish name like Clarencito, and I think that's a one. But anyway, since I want to talk about Cinco de Mayo, but here's the thing. I want to talk about my favorite comedian. He, You know him. I'll give you a hint. It, I'll give you a hint. All right. So here we go. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, oh, la la. I remember you. Remember. Mm-hmm. Um, if you want to know who said that, I'm talking about the one and only George Lopez. George Lopez is an amazing comedian, and in honor of Cinco de Mayo, I want to talk about him. He's an amazing comedian and actor. And he's been in many movies and in TV series. But the most series I watched was George Lopez. That's the name of the series that was called. And then it's much more incredible. I mean, he cracks me up when he says something in Spanish. I mean, <laughs> wow. I admit, right, because George Lopez is an imp- proud actor and comedian. And I got to say... This is much more incredible that um, he does uh, the most prominent roles when it comes to movies and uh, TV shows that he was in. He has his own talk show right around two, right around 2009 through 2011 called Lopez Tonight. And it was really great watching him. I mean, having his own talk show was really incredible. And, and I'm sad that it had to be done. Uh, and, but anyway... He also played the role of Poppy in uh, that Chihuahua in Beverly Hills Chihuahua 1 and 2, and he does it great. And he was also in the movie, the anim- 3D anime movie Rio and Rio 2. And I, I and recently I seen his FX series called St. George, and he he's back in the comedy business again. And I gotta say, it was like, Babados, Babados. I mean, I mean, wow. I mean, he really wants to make a comeback, and I don't blame him. If I were to make a comeback on my show, I mean, doing my talk show, I mean, come up with some good topics, I would do the same thing that George Lopez did. I mean, he's really much more incredible. I mean, he's a great influence uh, to people around uh, around the world. I mean, he travels a lot. I mean... Um, The only HBO series I remember doing a comedy show called Why You Greg? I mean, either way, he's much more incredible. And my mom, including my brothers, and I loved him. And if I would be honored to meet George Lopez, I mean, I'll say something in Spanish. I mean, I mean, I'd be like, as the loco. I mean, like, sabes que, I don't care. But anyway, um, George Lopez, this is a special shout out to you in honor of Cinco de Mayo today. And I gotta say, this is much more incredible. And if I'll be honored to meet you, and if I will meet you in California or anywhere in New York City, I would definitely want to have you as a special guest star on my show. So no matter what happens, um, I'm proud of your work. I'm proud of your uh, comedy ads. No matter what happens, you're you're more free to be yourself and to do whatever you want to do. So, George Lopez, this is a special shout out to you in honor of Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo to you and your family. And um, I will hope to look forward to some of the other stuff in the future that you'll do. So, anyway, thank you, George Lopez. Until then, happy Cinco de Mayo to everyone. That's it for this episode, and don't forget to leave your comments on my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and like my fan page on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and also on Instagram. I, I don't know how you say every day I'm every day I'm fist pumping in Spanish, but every time I do it. But, but anyway, have a great holiday for all Latinos everywhere. Thank you so much for watching. Until then, it's that now. I see you signing off.
I had to go get some Mexican food myself for an honor of this holiday and tradition. Take care, guys.